What's up YouTube? It's Nicolette Melody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I usually do vlogs. Every once in a while I'll do like a random story time or a tad or something. But today I'm going to do the get ready with me video tad. I don't know. Is it a tad? Well, I wasn't tad. I just watched one this morning and I was like, I want to do that too. So yeah, if you want to see how I get this look, then keep watching. <laughs> just a disclaimer, I am not in any way a beauty guru. I learn most of what I know from YouTube videos. Just people like the way I do my makeup. People have asked me to do makeup tutorials before, but I feel weird doing that because like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. But I just thought I would do a get ready with me because that's kind of like a makeup tutorial without like being like, this is how you do it, you know? This is how I do it. Um, anyway, let's get started. So first I prime my face with um, MAC Prep and Prime. I put it, I don't know how much you're supposed to use. That's how much I use. Don't they do this? <laughs> it's not working, okay, whatever. Um, I just kinda, I don't know if you're supposed to use a brush. I don't use a brush. I just kinda, kinda use it like lotion. I don't know if that's how you do it, but it's how I do it. Set in my face. Then I do my foundation. Um, I use the MAC Pro Launwear Foundation. How do they like this? MAC Pro Launwear Foundation in NC25. And I really like this foundation. I feel like it really does stay for a long time. And I use a beauty blender, so that's cool. I don't know how many pumps you're supposed to do. I do like two and a half. That might be way too much, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and then this is my technique. <laughs> I just kind of dot it all over my face and then I just do it. <laughs> brother asking me if I want a burrito from Chipotle. He's so nice sometimes. Also, as you can tell, I don't have like some cute little makeup setup. I literally sit on my floor and I use like my ring light that I have and I sit in front of my mirror and that's how I do my makeup. Oh, here it is. So next for my concealer, I use Covered Girl Ready Set Gorgeous. No need to buy an expensive one, I don't think anyway, because I like this one. I just do this under my eye and I draw my eyelid. I don't know if you're supposed to put conceal on your eyelid, but I have really veiny eyelids. <laughs> so I like to conceal that because that's nasty. And then I don't know why, but a lot of beauty girls do this. They make like a little peacock tail on their forehead with concealer and then bring it down their nose and then put it on their chin and right there. And then conceal your blemishes. Oh, oh well. <laughs> and then, you take your beauty blender and you blend it all in. Next, I am moving on to um, my eyebrows, which is my favorite part. I love, love, love to do my eyebrows. Um, so I use the Anastasia Brow Pomade in Chocolate. And I also use the Brow Powder Duo in Taupe for like the inner corner of my eyebrow, just so it's not so harsh. And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, what is this Eyebrow Brush in number 7. So look at me sounding like it. I know what I'm doing. Sometimes I get my eyebrows done like perfectly the first time. I love it. Sometimes it takes me a while, so we'll see what happens right now. Ooh, girl, you need to get your eyebrows done. <laughs> Luckily, you're not that close, so hopefully you can't tell. So I did all of this side with pomade, and then I'm just gonna take the powder duo and do like the corner of it. pretty good to me. Sometimes I'll take um, my foundation and I will just like go over my brows just to really shape them but I feel like I did pretty good today so I'm not gonna do that but sometimes I do. 
Then I'm gonna take my Anastasia, whatever, <laughs> it's clear brow gel. And um, I'm like running out of this stuff. But just go over my brows to help keep all the hairs in place. Cause I do have crazy eyebrows and they will go everywhere. Okay, now I'm going to powder my face. Um, I like to what they call bake, like just underneath my eyes and a little around my forehead and on my chin. And then I, I brush it off later. So I'm gonna bake right now, whatever that is. And I use um, Makeup Forever High Definition Press Powder. I really like this. It is translucent powder. Is that what this is called? Pretty sure that's what it's called. Basically, it doesn't have color to it. Um, and I am just going to take my Beauty Blender and dab it in. I have to do a little on my nose, my forehead. Just let that sit for a little bit. Next, I'm going to do my eyes. And I like to start off with a primer for my eyeshadow. And I use... Um, this is really dirty. I use the Tarte Clean Slate 360 Creaseless Eye Primer. Um, I think it works great. I have very like oily eyelids for some reason. And so before I started using this, my eyeshadow would be all over the place all the time. Again, not sure if you're supposed to use a brush, but I just put some on my finger and then spread it around. And honestly, I've had this for a very, very long time and a little goes a long way. It's just this little tube, but I've literally been using it for a very long time and I still have a good amount in here, so definitely worth it. It was, I don't remember how much it was, but it wasn't cheap, but it was worth it. So, so for my eyeshadows, I like to use the Naked 2 Basics palette. I literally have like one way of doing my eyeshadow. I will change it up with different colors, but I still only have one way of doing it. I have very hooded eyes, so a lot of different eyeshadow looks don't look very good on me. And you know, again, there could be some that would look great on me just because I have hooded eyes. Doesn't mean I can't do it, but I don't know how to do makeup. So I wouldn't be able to do it myself. Maybe if I learned. For my brushes, I just have like these little Sephora. I bought like the Sephora brush kit one time and so they're just Sephora brushes. Okay, I like to take the color right here. It's called Frisk, this one. It's called Frisk and I um, just kind of put that, be again, because I put it eyes, I put that right above my crease um, so that way it doesn't get lost in my crease. And this like look that I'm doing right now, it's just kind of like my everyday when I want to do some eyeshadow, but I don't feel like going like all out. Um, look, there are days when I just don't wear eyeshadow, I just do mascara and I'm done for the day. But I thought I would do some eyeshadows for you guys. Alrighty, so now I'm going to move on to this next color. Um, this is called Cover, and um, I just like to put this on the outer corner of my eye. Um, just to kind of, you know, smoke it out, give it a little neutral smokiness um nothing crazy then i just bring it over to help blend it don't have a blending brush because you know don't know what i'm doing <laughs> so i just blend it with this and then do the other side Alrighty, and so for my last one i'm like a rewards member with ulta and since it was my birthday this past week um i got a birthday gift which was this eyeshadow by urban decay it's called midnight cowboy and i Love it. It is super shimmery and very pigmented. You can like see it right there. It's just super, super pretty. And yeah, I just tried it for the first time yesterday and I loved it. So I'm gonna keep using it. Um, but I'm just gonna take this on a little flat brush and put it on the rest of my eyelid that doesn't have my shadow. Greta's downstairs. Thanks. Are you filming yourself? I am. Chipotle. Thank you. Chipotle plug. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put this all over the eyelid. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit on the inner corner of my eye just to give a little bit of sparkle because I like when I see people do that. And so I'm gonna do it too. Look at that. I don't know if you can even see because it's so bright. Can you see this? There we go. Do I even need this light? Can I shut it off? Oh, I can't see though. I'll show you at the end. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave. Oh no. Come back on. Oh no. So my light died. So I'm just gonna have to finish this out like this. All right, that's just 
fantastic. Alright, so there's that. So now for my um, eyelashes, I am going to be using the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I really like this one. I have been blessed with very long natural eyelashes, so this is really nice to help make it like this, <laughs> whatever that means, you know? See what I'm talking about? How it looks like this. And then I like to put a little bit on my bottom lashes. And there we go, yay! Okay, done. I'm not very good at um, top eyeliner. I only, only, only do that for like special occasions. So I'm gonna skip that for today because I'm gonna save you and me the trouble of going through top eyeliner. And so next, I am going to brush off the powder that is on my face, even though it doesn't look like there's any. I don't know if there's any, actually. And I'm just gonna try to powder whatever else was not powdered. Give it that nice little matte finish. Next, I am moving on to bronzer. <laughs> um, I, one time, was at like a little clothing store. They had this, it's called City Color Contour Effects 2, like at the counter, like when you're checking out. And I opened it and I was like, sure, why not? It's really gross looking, but comes with three colors, says contour, bronze, highlight, and then it gives you directions just in case you don't know what you're doing, which was very helpful for me actually because I don't know what I'm doing. But for today, I'm just gonna do bronzer and highlight and then blush too. But I just take some, dab it out, and then just put some right here. Carve out those cheekbones. I think that's what I'm doing. I don't know. Cool. So now I'm gonna take this little blush, which is L'Oreal True Match, and I'm just gonna put this on my cheekbones. And now I'm going to take this MAC brush that I found, assuming one of my friends left it. It is MAC 168, whatever the heck that is. And I'm going to take, put some uh, highlight on it. And then just do this because I think that's how you put highlighter on. Cool. Then I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm going to get some more highlight and put it on the bridge of my nose and down here on my nose and then right here on my cupid's bow. Then I'm also gonna take them and put some on the arch of my brow, which is I think called my brow bone. And then I'm gonna put some right above it too. And now for my lips, I like to use my favorite. I wear it every day unless I'm going for a little bit more of a formal look. But other than that, I wear it every day. It's Taupe by MAC. And it is this really fun, like nude-ish color. It's just, it's my favorite one. And just to finish it off, um, I use the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. There it is. And I love this stuff. I am running out, so I need to buy more. Um, just four little spritzes is enough. And your makeup is set for the day. Next, for my hair, I am just going to straighten it, but I am not gonna do that on camera. I am gonna go take care of that, and then I will be right back. Two hours later. All right, well. Now my hair is all done. <laughs> Let me sit up a little bit more so you can see it. Nice and straight. Um, I use the Remington <laughs> straightener. So yeah, there you have it. That's what, ow, <laughs> tangles. That's what um, I do to get ready. And if you liked this video, you should give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to me, you should go and do that. And if there's any videos that you want to see, I know a few people have asked me to do like my princess makeup tutorials, which I will, but probably when I start doing princess parties again. I've um, been on like a hiatus since I had my show and stuff, but I'll probably do that. But if there's anything else you want to see, you should let me know because I like to talk to you guys and do what you guys want to see. So yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, I got some in my mouth. <laughs> That does not taste good. Gross. And I like to take the color off. Goodness. I have a mess.